Rhonda, may I help you? Uh, I'm draining my pond and I happen to find a car in the bottom of it. All right then, we're, we have a deputy on the way out there, okay? <laughs> okay, awesome, thank you so much. So this is interesting. I don't know what to expect. The Sheriff's Department and Conneaut Police Department were both like, what, you found a car in your pond? It's like, yeah, uh, it's pretty interesting. So hopefully we're not stuck with the car. Actually, it doesn't really matter at this point what's going on. I'm trying to get there so I can try to at least try to get a VIN number and not waste their time uh, while we're at the property. And um, so that's where we're heading there, heading back to the property. Hopefully they show up here shortly. All right, so I wanted to get it on camera, but I didn't really uh, want to uh, put the guy on the spot. So anyways, the sheriff's here showed up. He's getting in his car to leave. And uh, basically he told me that uh, if we can't get a VIN number off of it, the plates didn't come back as stolen or anything. Uh, the advice is at this point to try to find identification in it and give them a call back if we find a VIN number. So I'm up here today and I'm going to go down and we're gonna poke around and see if we can't find a VIN number at the, in the windshield. Pretty sure that there's no VIN number there already. Um, we may try to get the door open. I don't think the door's gonna open. I think it's gonna fall apart. I might be able to pry the door open, but ultimately uh, until we get the car out of the water, uh, we can't really do anything. So he's gonna give us a call back He's gonna, he said he don't know how we're gonna get rid of it. Uh, we could, how to scrap it, I, you know, get rid of the metal, uh, or how we're gonna get out of there. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna try to find a bin. We're gonna get the dispatch call if we do find anything. And we'll go from there. go we're gonna go down to the car this is why we're cleaning the pond right here my main concern is nothing else but snappers snapping turtles <laughs> as much as that might sound crazy snappers are one thing that I'm afraid of Man, it's a workout so here it is though so it filled back up but now we're gonna root through it a little bit see what we can come up with start with getting a VIN number of sorts, maybe. Wait a second, what is that? Ooh, it looks silver, gold. Oh, it's plastic. Member. of the Secret Heart Auto League. <laughs> I don't know. See if that happens, maybe like a, a business motto or something like a token. I think this car was brand new. Yeah, look at that. Sacred Heart Auto League member. If you guys know what this is, let me know. It says Wells, Mississippi. It's a piece of plastic, actually. But it was up here in the dash. Right here. So, I can't find this VIN number. I wonder if it's higher up. We'll go ahead and look. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. Just using an old paintbrush to kind of clean off 
clean off the windshield inside. See, I would have thought that the VIN number would have been right here, but I don't think so. I think it rotted away. Yep, there it is. It rotted away. Is that rotted? Is it a hole or is it a... I don't know. I don't think it's readable. Got a Monte Carlo windshield for sale. <laughs> Original. Lightly used. <laughs> Barred fine. Make sure it's just not here in the side and I'm just missing it. All right, so I didn't take my truck today, so I don't have the equipment to get in here. Might be able to kick that door in. It might rust and fall apart. One second. falls apart okay. oh my god the window almost rolls up and down the door might still work I just don't know where the door handles at it's pretty disgusting actually I'm just terrified I'm terrified of turtles Ah, yeah, I could probably get to the door handle if I could just get in there. <laughs> All right. Okay, think of what I might do. If, if you know where the door handles are at on Monte Carlo, go ahead and post them down in the comments. I can't. I cannot get service here, so I have no idea um, where the door handle's at. The window actually cranked up and down, like as much as it, it could. Check this out, the window handle's right here. The window's right here. And I can get it to go up and down a little bit. So it gives us some hope. Well. I could until the handle fell apart. <laughs> oh, okay. Wait, I think I found the door handle. Yeah, it's broken. Ah, the door handle's right there, by the way. All right, so I'm going to go grab a shovel because the only other place I can think of where Vin's going to be. Look at that color. Oh, this will buff out, huh? The only other place that I think a VIN number could be is on the inside of the door. If that's not there and we can't find a VIN on this thing, then that's that. I mean, that's that's the end of the story, guys. You know, the next step is going to be trying to pull this thing out of here somehow. I ain't doing it with no truck, that's for sure. Need some type of winch cables. Um, if you guys know where the VIN number is located at on this car, um, that it's not right here, obviously. Go ahead and post down in the comments. I'm certain that that's where the VIN number plate used to be, and it's not there. <laughs> All right, so the only thing I got left is to try to open up this door and hope that the sticker is still there of some level. Uh, what's giving me hope is the license plate still had the expiration tag on it. So maybe, fingers crossed, that still has something on it. And it probably is going to be so rusted that I might be able to get this door open just with the shovel. 
Hopefully you guys can see that. I'm fairly confident that this will not open. I mean, the, the car is just falling apart. I don't have a crowbar here, unfortunately. I do have the four-wheeler. Only thing I can think of is popping this brace, pulling it away from the latch, the door latch. So just so you guys see, at least the door is not wanting to budge. However, we are making the back window <laughs> this whole thing cave in, the whole back quarter panel. Ugh. Cave in. Which is okay. Because quite honestly, that's where the back latch is at. That is disgusting. <laughs> Sick. That's so gross. <coughs> oh. Try to pop the inside door cover off. Hey. Oh, there we go. Oh my god. All right. So. Uh. Uh. I guess yeah. I could try to break the door off. <laughs> Remind me, get new clips for my waders. Man, look at that. Doors open. Now we just gotta get the water level down and hope it doesn't feel too bad down there. Um, hopefully the metal plate on the door frame is good still, or at least enough to where we can get it. I believe they made them out of aluminum so they didn't rust, we can hope. Uh, so we got the shovel. It only took us a couple minutes, actually. It's just kind of surprised. But give you guys a little bit more of a look inside. Uh, white leather. Okay. get this pump on and, and start pumping some of this water out again we literally have one tank of gas left in the pump it won't pump all this water out but maybe it'll get down low enough that we can kind of see i'm pretty confident if i pull this car half of it's coming the other half's not the frame will be stuck <laughs> i'm pretty confident in that. okay so we got the door open we're gonna go turn the pump on and i'll get back to you when the water level gets down to a point that we can see but for now that is it all right so i guess i'll give you guys the conclusion to this video uh, we are going to have more videos because well we got to try to find a vent number we got to try to pull the car out and we are really going to go through it but just to recap on <clears throat> what uh, is going on 
All right, so we do know that this is a 81 Monte Carlo, more than likely. Uh, we pulled the, we were able to get the rear plate off of it and we're still poking around, but police came out, no bodies are in it. So they're really not too concerned uh, about us digging in it because the plate that they ran came back as nothing. So basically they said, if you can find a VIN number, let us know. If not, we'll let you know how to go about uh, getting it off your property once you get it out. So <laughs> just don't really see anything else in here. We drained it before. We're gonna drain it all the way again in the next videos just to try to, to get it out of here. We're gonna have to dig a path probably with the backhoe and hook it up to probably, I'd say that oak tree right there and try to winch it out. So look at that little mink just running around. He has no fear that I'm right here at all. Kind of freaky because I'm here in the water and I can't run and if that thing wanted to like stand up and attack me, it could. But if you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any updates with the car. I really appreciate it. everybody that's subscribed, everybody that's gave feedback, and everybody that's gave uh, comments. If you know of any other place on this car that has a VIN number other than the door and the window, go ahead and post it down in the comments. Let me know because we really need help trying to figure out the mystery, the car mystery. We don't know whose it was or where it came from. The only thing we know, we got a plate number, and apparently nobody can get information from that. So I will see you guys next time.